Hi, lovely Libra. I'm Jamila, and welcome to your horoscope for this full moon in Libra, round two. So this is your second chance, Libra. This is all about you. This full moon in Libra is at the very last degree of Libra shining a light on you and the self and this balance in your relationships between the self and others. Libra is about the other. So you put all of your energy into the other, the one that's right in front of you and not to the self. So this light shining on you and yourself will be illuminating all of your own needs that maybe you haven't been acknowledging, you haven't been looking at because you've been putting this big focus on the other. And there's gonna be a big shift with the other, with this full moon energy. So really shaking up your relationships big time. So you might be really thinking about yourself, thinking about your feelings and your experience more than usual with this full moon and your limits and thinking maybe that the other is this erratic, wild, disruptive energy when that's really happening within as well. So where do you need to shift and where do you need to make a big change as far as your balance in your relationships? What feels fair to you? Libra knows about fair. So this is time for you to really sink into your feelings about your needs and your balance in relationships. And how does that feel? How does that balance feel? And how can you harmonize more? And this Libra full moon, we want to harmonize, but there's a lot of discordant energy here. So as Libras, I'm Libra rising too, so we also need to acknowledge and be prepared for some erratic, explosive, disruptive, big change in our relationships. So we can't just be all happy and everybody's getting along, but we can still focus on harmonizing and creating harmony in our relationships, even acknowledging the chaos in our relationships. So let's try to harmonize the chaos. Yes, that is it. Let's harmonize with the chaos that's happening and acknowledge that this is changing, changing for a reason. And whatever kind of breakthrough or break that you're shifting in your partnerships, in your relationships, whatever that is, is for a reason and this full moon is asking you for autonomy to really look at yourself in all of this and not project out on the other that they're this erratic, crazy energy because it's all of us right now. We all have to own this energy and this really demand from the stars right now for individuality. And that is not Libra's strong point, right? Libra is all about relationships and compromising and how do we make this work for you and are so overly focused on the other that the needs of the self are often really neglected. So this full moon is lighting up those needs and it's very clear, Libra, what are your needs? I'm sure they're very clear to you right now. So you want to keep your calm in your communication with your relationships because there's some healing communication that deserves to happen in your relationships. So very clear healing communication. Be aware that everybody's a little bit on edge and there's a big shifting, changing electricity in all of us. So it's important for Libra to be prepared for that. Everything's not going to be all yay, hunky-dory, perfect until maybe after this kind of explosive change needs to happen. Okay, you can do it, Libra. And I didn't even acknowledge all of this Saturn-Pluto south node stuff happening going on. This is in your home. So all the structures that are needing to be removed that are no longer serving you are in your home. So cleaning them out is a big focus right now and a focus for this, the next two weeks, the next 
few months actually with Saturn Saturn and the South Node coming together for a long time. So cleaning out these structures, that's it. Clean them out. Acknowledge that we are leaving those structures that no longer serve us in our home, in our childhood stories, and in our own emotional needs. So wow this is a big full moon okay i will see you soon have a beautiful full moon bye